Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So sorry for the uh, not constant uploads. It's been a while, but I'm back. So here we are, and last week I think I did a T side tutorial on Overpass, and I said that it was one of my favorite maps, and we're going to transition from the T side to the CT side. Now with all the CT guys there. I'm going to divide this into two parts, so holding the bomb sites and the retake routes for each site. So before we start the video, I just want to say that I'll be uploading more constantly now. Uh, I'm figuring out ideas and I will be able to post more content next week, so stay tuned for that. Also when we hit 500 subscribers, uh, we will be streaming on Twitch, so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification for more content. I'm also will I'm also planning to expand. Uh, I'm also planning to expand my uh, game range again. I did Paladins a few weeks ago, but I might cover PUBG. I said PUBG, the PC version and not the mobile port. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video and let's start with holding the A site. Alright, so holding A site. Now, what do you need to know when you're holding the A site? So, first off, this is CT spawn, and as you know, may notice we are already in the bomb site itself. Now, unlike other bomb sites where you have to go and hold positions on the bomb site itself, Overpass is kind of unique because it's not really recommended that you hold this position so early because you're giving up long control and uh, mid control and restroom control, and you might lose the round because you don't have that early positioning that you need so if you're going to if you're going to hold a make sure you hold these angles first so you can hold this angle here in restroom it's really really close but uh i suggest you i suggest you go into further angles because this one is probably good for mid round when you know they're pushing restroom and they get your opponent and they get your teammate so uh, yeah, but if you're holding an op, I think it's really really good that you actually hold this angle right here. Now, unless it's not smoke and you're playing in a silver match, uh, holding an op here can really 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 be deadly and can change the way things are in perspective. Because by holding this one, you have a somewhat control of party and if you get one pick, you basically have control of that place and the T's are not going to be able to push because you're there you're an upper now uh when it comes to holding uh, a long here's the thing if you're holding with a rifle you're going to want to play close because again rifles don't have scopes unless you're using the aug or the creek but if you're using an m4 you want to uh, position yourself so that you're close and you want to get some early aggression if you want now aggression on the ct side it's really not recommended since cts are supposed to play passive that's how it is because time is on your side, you have the positioning, you just have to deny the terrorist and that's the good thing about the CD side. The hard thing is about retaking but that's another process and we'll get to that later. But right now, I think it's, uh, I don't recommend you push out here because you can easily die but some easy, uh, some uh, aggression with maybe some flashes or a nade and you, you getting one kill can be really essential to you guys winning the round so you can peek here or you can play passive get to the tree or you can actually even just stay here in this area right here now if you're holding an op that is a very very different story because hold on that is a very very different story because i think it's better if you actually hold right here a very tight angle and this can make some really really good positioning and this one will totally give you advantage over your opponents just make sure not to over peak and the beauty about this pos that position is that you can actually fall back and you can make serve as a double uh, double setup you can peak from here or you can peak from long and you can give support to your teammates whenever you need so that is early round a when you see they're at long or they're just at mid, make sure to try to stop them. Oh, and an additional one, by the way, if you're using a rifle, you can also hold close restrooms right here. Right here in this position right here. And also right here. Usually they don't check that, but make sure if they're going mid, make sure you're properly covered and your teammates back you up. So, but that is a dangerous spot. Now... 
the important thing about holding A is not as it's in the early round, but it's also more important. It's really, really important. Sorry, holding A is important early round, but uh, when it comes to, you know, when they actually have long, but when it, when it actually comes to them having long control and mid control and rest room control, and they're actually going towards the bomb site, what do you guys do? So let's say, let's make a situation here. Say your teammate, which is in rest room, and he's holding an op, he sees mid, okay? So he sees mid, he dies, and you know that these are aggressing. So what do you do? So if you're at long, or if you're here, basically, you can basically want to stay here as you're the aggressor and you're going to get some early picks. But if you're here and you don't want to die, you can actually fall back into these uh, positions right here. I call this the corner of the truck. It's a good off angle. This spot is in truck itself, but it's a really risky angle. But if you're camouflaged and they don't see it, it's very, very great. It can uh, make a difference. And this one... Uh, I suggest actually... Um, I suggest holding this with an op because it's a really far angle and this is what you call dumpsters right here or you can actually hold this area and this one is going to be called bank as I said but usually these are going to be smoking this area because they're very smart and they're going to get a plant now when do you use utility because I haven't talked about utility usage in B I am sorry in A and the answer to that is save it until they've actually gotten uh, bombs, uh, mid control or long control or whatever. Because you can probably use it early game, maybe the smoke po smoke party or something. But the real importance of holding A is your utility usage and uh, when it comes to the um, actual uh, charging towards the bomb site and not getting control of the areas near A. So. If you're, uh, if you're, if you know, if you know that these are coming, let's say you, you have, you peek and you see them, you can probably throw flashes or maybe smokes to actually delay them. Just try, uh, just a tip, just try to delay them and waste as much of the time as possible or try to damage them. If you're smoked off in an area like this, make sure you have a, make sure you have util and you throw grenades and stuff and you you guys have to organize that in order to stop the a push so that's it for the a site and uh what a brief summary of that in to conclude this segment so holding a uh at the start of the round you don't necessarily have to hold the site it's not good it's not good because it won't help your team so it's either you hold restrooms i showed you the angles there or long and you wait now, if if your uh, if your defense and long fails, you can fall back, and when they charge up, when they when the T's come charging now, that's where you s actually start using your utility. That's where you start being careful, and that's where you start calling your teammates, because that's this is where the real action will happen. And uh, you can probably smoke off long. Just uh, use your utility, save it for the late round. Uh, save it for the late round, yeah, and. This should be good, and you should have a successful A site hold. Alright, so unlike A, holding B is uh, very, very different because I'm actually gonna say that utility usage early is very, very important. Now, the way to get to B is pretty simple. You head down these flights of stairs and you're going to see uh, two passageways. So I'm going to talk about the one to the right first. This one, I call this heaven and players call this heaven, is similar to the nuke heaven because it's very high and CTs have an advantage. But be careful because holding this early with an op sounds like a great idea but usually T's are very smart enough if they're holding B to smoke it and usually they're going to check this corner. So, Make sure that when you're holding this with an op early round or mid round or late round or whatever, you're very careful. And I don't say that this is a bad spot to hold. It's just too commonly checked that it's not really viable in most situations. So if you're gonna hold heaven, make sure you have a good supporting cast on B in case you, you die. Because if it's only two of you holding B and you're not really in a close enough angle, you're kind of doomed. Okay, so if you, I get back my rifle and we will head down. So, if you get down here, 
you can actually there's a lot of boost ideas on this map that's what that's what i like about it and you can make this three man boost here or you can make a simple two man boost here with the sandbags that allows you to see b short and i think gaining short and the uh, monster control is very important in this site uh, now what i usually do is i'm i'm usually i usually i usually rifle i i don't usually op i i rarely op so yeah so what i do is on the rounds where i ask my teammate to boost i'm going to be hey boost me so i i get here i get one and i just stay there for around 20 seconds because if you stay there for too long they're gonna spot you and both of your team both of you guys will die because uh what if there's someone who pushed monster right there it's only the two of you holding so use this boost very very wisely or you can hold this corner right here and it's called graffiti uh this is very useful when you're co when they're coming from short okay so for utility usage what i do is you go here and usually you, you're gonna want to get uh you're, you're gonna want to nade this thing or maybe smoke short or if you want to get aggressive just throw a flashbang throw a flashbang and try and stay in a try and stay in connector or maybe even this area right here this corner right here it's a really good spot but yeah getting short and monster control is the essential part of holding b site because uh when you don't have these two you, that's basically a free plant and then you have to retake and you know it's a 3v5 you guys are lacking firepower so what angles should you hold so aside from this boost this boost and graffiti right here i suggest you actually hold that corner and this one this angle right here you just have to be careful and you have to expect someone early because uh some t's are very aggressive and can get you so but uh for the other angles i suggest you actually hold this one now this one is really my favorite go-to spot because if you're a terrorist like okay so let's say i'm a t it's like let's say i'm a t you go past you don't even you don't really you really can't even notice because like usually when you're at you're focused on getting the bomb site and you're focused on smoking stuff like all that but what they don't notice is that you're there you're there in this little gap right here and this one is very very this one can make you very very deadly and can make you win the round but if you want to play passive you can play here in water wait for the plant and deny it or you can play here even closer even better you can probably play here in barrels but what they do commonly is probably they nade it or they molly it especially in uh, higher ranks such as uh, master guardian or gold nova so uh, this spot is good but just use it with caution and they can't really see your head easily and these crates aren't wall bangable so it's it's not that easy to get you but once they have the proper util they can totally get you so yeah those are for the angles and for the smokes and monster now if you're expecting a b rush and they they like they like try to molly you i think it's best if you put out a smoke or if you're a, an aggressive monster player you can actually do this so this is a really cool trick so when you come from here when you come from here you you, you jump off of this ledge to get the to, to get to the side fast and then what you're going to do is you're going to need it right boom okay instant damage or what you can do is you can actually stay here because uh playing up close is one of the most risky yet most rewarding things that you can do on this map so you play here they're not going to be able to see your gun and your foot either so when a t comes up and you can and you can ask your teammate to flash you and that would be really really helpful as you can get the t's and monster now once you have monster control it's really once you have monster and short control it's really really easy for you guys to hold b and 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 it will make the t's rotate to a uh so yeah these two areas are very important use your nades early use your nades early on this one because it's just a really short route to b maybe smoke this That's as, as a recap maybe smoke this smoke that to get control or maybe you want to boost in there and get some nades all right so yeah that does it for holding b and i will be talking about the uh, retake routes now for the uh, a side all right so 
I think it's uh I think I've talked about holding A and B, but I think it's really important that we talk about holding connector because connector is one of those areas where in it 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 connects A and B together, right? So it's a really important area, and it's just as valuable as holding a bomb site actually because connector can give you access to a new bomb site can allow teams to rotate. So I'm gonna close that door right here. Now what you're going to want to do as a CT is to not aggress. The best way to get the connector is from here, from A to here. And if you're going to stand here, because I'm gonna talk about the upper and lower. So if let's talk about lower first. So lower, this would be a good time to use your nades. Maybe smoke it or nade it or maybe uh, experiment with the positions that you're going to hold. So using your nades and connector is very good. It's it's a tight corner. And if you're gonna go for aggression, please, please, please use your flashes because uh, you're at a severe disadvantage. You're the peaker. They're gonna be the ones waiting. And if you don't have good aim, you're, you're dead. So yeah, that's for holding lower connector. But when you're holding upper connector, the story is kind of different because uh, as you can see right here, uh, this gives you access to party. Now, when you see someone in party, I don't suggest you go and shoot 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 because um, it's risky it's risky and unless your teammate can flash you which is great uh, that's where you should go for it but while you're not while 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 you don't have a uh, good teammate or while you're playing solo queue make sure you just uh, play around this area don't peek unless you know for sure that you used your own utility and that's it for holding connector so we're gonna be talking about the bomb site uh, retake routes from uh, b to retaking a okay so retaking a now i'm going to show you two basic routes that lead to more complex routes but i'm just going to simplify it into two retake routes so the first one is going to be from under a now if you're holding oh, we're going we're always going to assume that you're in the other bomb site or you're somewhere far from the bomb site that we're going to retake now uh we're going to talk about the first one which is under to a and this one is one of those high risk high reward places because not only can the t's hear you from above but they also have an advantage because when you go here you're pretty much just flat you have a disadvantage these are waiting for you and once you've lost control of that and once you're dead you, you guys have lost the run and or you can go here but i don't think that would really make much of a difference unless you, your teammate can throw some flashes or something or you combine that with a flank so this is the shortcut to uh, the A side for a retake, but I suggest uh, you take high caution because it is extremely risky, and I suggest you do it. You do it with a team. You use some utility if you have any left, and yeah. So the key when you uh, retake from this spot is just really, really teamwork, and maybe just some, maybe a little bit of luck, and maybe a little bit of flanking as well because that can keep the T's distracted. Now the second one is through connector and unlike under to A, this one is different in a way that uh, when you think about it, under to A is, is just a shortcut. It's like a really fast route and it's really risky. But this one, I would say this one is much safer than the first one. Why? So when you enter connector, obviously, obviously you enter connector to open the door. And you go up the stairs. Now you're presented with two options. Now what I like to do here is you actually, if it's a solo retake, then you definitely want to be going uh, either long or in uh, mid right here. But if it's a duo retake, I think it's best if your teammates go, one goes long here and one goes uh, to the restroom. Or you just go together if you're uh, pretty low and you just want to retake. So I'm going to talk about going through long first. So you enter this place. And yeah, okay, here we are. So, assuming you've cleared this area because again, someone can peek here. Do not uh, take the, that possibility away from that. And make sure you have, you have more space to work with. So, use your util very wisely. Like, you flash yourself open into the side. You open it, you turn and 
hopefully you get some kills and right here and then you can defuse the bomb but when you're coming from mid make sure that you know where you're looking from because sometimes there can be a flank by the T's as well to find you to prevent you from actually getting to the bomb site itself and that can be very deadly so this one is a much safer route and it's best it's better for a solo retaker and it's even better for uh, uh, it's been even better if you're with uh, your buddies and people uh, and your team is most of your team is still alive so when do you take these retake routes so I suggest you take under to A when you're running out of time and you want to get it done really fast maybe because you don't have a kit maybe because you're the only one alive maybe because there's no time left on the bomb but yeah maybe because you know you're just waiting and stuff like that you want to get a ninja this is the way and I'm not saying that this is always bad but bear in mind that you have to be really quiet and you have to really be lucky to pull this off it's not it's not impossible but it's it's improbable so you should take so you should take the second option when you know that you're not you're, you're going to be surrounded uh under a so when you know they're going to be flanking you a and when your team says oh we can't do this there or there when you go under so you go through connector and it's either you split up or, free, or you join together and that's where you use the right smoke smokes uh, smokes in a after plant situation maybe to defuse grenades to get a kill or flashes to open up the site for you and your teammates to get the necessary kills needed for the retake so that is about retaking a now and we're going to talk about retaking b from a all right lastly we're going to talk about retaking b from a now again i'm going to simplify this into two routes okay so unlike uh unlike from b to a this is uh both routes are pretty pretty equal in risk and reward because even if you go from under to a you're not really going to see any aggression from the terrorist when it comes to graffiti and beyond so we're going to talk from under to b all right so again you enter the site right here all right and, okay okay I talked about heaven a while ago. If you're an upper and then it's an after plan situation, you can uh, get you can get some kills right there if you want to. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much just use your positioning to get a good look of the site and make sure you clear these corners out. And if you don't want to get damage while you drop, make sure you drop on the this side right here. See where I'm. Uh, See where I'm slide. Uh, see where my crosshair is. That's where you should drop because it's gonna give you a smooth slide and boom. All right. So that's where. Uh, that's from under to be to heaven. And uh, in my opinion, this should be done only with an op. Maybe because it's for long range and maybe because it's not the best weapon in close range unless you can really no scope. So yeah, holding heaven and getting some early retake kills is good but if you want to play close and you're with a rifle you can go down here and right off the bat when you see this be careful because there can be people hiding here there can be people hiding here there can be people hiding there and in monster so what you guys do is again use your utility right always open up the site with a flashbang if you don't have then just try to be quiet make us less no make make it make a very very little noise as much as possible and you can wall bang this corner for potential enemies who are just trying to get uh one on you or uh if if your opponent if your teammate from heaven hasn't spotted this guy yet then you can definitely check out this corner so yeah that's about entering the bomb site so when you're checking the bomb site I think it's actually good if you smoke the fuses because depending on where the bomb is planted, like let's say it's here, there could be just like if you're defusing, there the sound right there can attract your T, uh, can attract the T, and it's either they go from uh, it's either they go from monster or short. Those are the only two options because once you've killed and there are only two left or there's only one left, it's either one of the two. So. I think you should just smoke defuse it if you're really running out of time and or 
you can send a teammate if you're uh, uh, running high in firepower power for the retake. You can send your teammate to check this area or check this area or just just have some cover, really. And that's the important part about retaking. Now, retaking isn't just about uh, your individual skill. It also takes a lot of timing, patience, and teamwork to pull off because retaking, again, CS is a team game. It's not, it's not an individual show of skill. Although so, in some cases it is, it's mostly about your teamwork, how you play as a team, and how you play one off uh, another. And that's a really essential part in holding, I'm sorry, retaking B. Now the next route is going to be from mid. Okay, so I'm here and it says bomb has been planted. So okay, so mid to connector, that is the second route that we're going to be taking. And this is as equally risky as the under to under to B because like let's say the door is closed you're going to probably have to anticipate someone waiting here or here so again please do not or uh, use the please do not uh, waste your utility use it right and as situations like this this can be a lifesaver I missed that flash but yes so make sure when you open it, make sure you check, make sure you walk, and of course make sure that both uh, your teammates have your back. And actually you guys can split up. Maybe one will go heaven with an up, maybe two of you will go a uh, connector. And that's the that's the beauty of Counter-Strike. It's very unpredictable. So that does it for the retake routes and being for the whole video. This was, this was really long because honestly CT side is a bit more complicated to explain than T side. Because you have to talk about two aspects, holding angles in each site and retaking the bomb site itself. So yeah, that does it. it uh, so thank you for sticking around for the whole video. And uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. I will be exploring more games tomorrow. Uh, and I will be involving more of you guys and more of your ideas and suggestions. So just feel free to comment what games or what ideas should I tackle. Also, I'm planning to talk about CSGO Esports because I really I really love the CSGO Esports uh, scene as a player and I've been following it uh, for as long as I can remember. So yeah, that is it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and learned a lot and peace out.